Hey guys, it's Greg. I guess it's time I weigh in on this. Uh, we know 5G's coming. And blockchain. Nobody's talked about blockchain yet. I mean, some people have, but nobody that in our community that I've seen has really talked about it. Blockchain, I'm going to put just a two-minute clip. It says how to understand what blockchain is in less than two minutes. I'm going to tack that on just a second, and I'll come back. But blockchain, first of all, this right here, this phone, that started a problem. That started this shit. Now, technology is creating shit that nobody needs. Creating stuff that no, nobody needs, but they'll buy it. And because of that shit that they're creating, they're going to put 5G in. So, they're creating things technology is creating itself AI is coming on technology has these companies are creating stuff that nobody needs or wants nobody's asked for this stuff help we're not the Jetsons we didn't ask to be the Jetsons. Nobody went to these places and said, I want my refrigerator to send a signal to my phone to let me know that somebody took the last pickle out of the jar so I can come home on my way home and pick up some pickles. That's bullshit. Okay, here's the clip and I'll come back. When you vote, have you ever wondered whether your ballot is actually counted? If you meet someone online, how do you know they're who they say they are? When you buy coffee that's labeled Fairtrade, what makes you so certain of its origin? To be sure, really sure, about any of those questions, you'd need a system where records could be stored, facts could be verified by anyone, and security is guaranteed. That way, no one could cheat the system by editing records, because everyone using the system would be watching. Systems like this are on the horizon, and the software that powers them is called a blockchain. Blockchains store information across a network of personal computers, making them not just decentralized, but distributed. This means no central company or person owns the system, yet everyone can use it and help run it. This is important because it means it's difficult for any one person to take down the network or corrupt it. The people who run the system use their computer to hold bundles of records submitted by others, known as blocks, in a chronological chain. The blockchain uses a form of math called cryptography to ensure that records can't be counterfeited or changed by anyone else. You've probably heard of the blockchain's first killer app, a form of digital cash called Bitcoin that you can send to anyone, even a complete stranger. Bitcoin is different from credit cards, PayPal, or other ways to send money because there isn't a bank or financial middleman involved. Instead, people from all over the world help move the digital money by validating others' Bitcoin transactions with their personal computers, earning a small fee in the process. Bitcoin uses the blockchain by tracking records of ownership over this digital cash, so only one person can be the owner at a time and the cash can't be spent twice, like counterfeit money in the physical world can. But Bitcoin is just the beginning for blockchains. In the future, blockchains that manage and verify online data could enable us to launch companies that are entirely run by algorithms, making self-driving cars safer, help us protect our online identities, and even track the billions of devices on the Internet of Things. These innovations will change our lives forever, and it's all just the beginning. To learn more about the urgent future of the blockchain, please visit iftf.org slash blockchain futures lab. So as you can see, 
it says right now it's being used for Bitcoin and but she says in the future it'll be used for this and that and this and that and to track all the billions of devices well that's the stuff that 5G is going to pick up but it also says it can uh, it, it, it keeps anything that can be put in a database information and stores it over millions of computers this is Skynet all right they're gonna they're gonna collect everything on you everything on you they've already got let's see what two ten years of Facebook worth of stuff on people they they can go back through that uh, they can use AI to put together a profile based on their criteria of you and eventually they they'll probably wind up with with uh, cryptocurrency being the only way to you know digital currency being the only way to buy things which to be let's be honest from a Christian point of view that is apocalyptic that's revelation that's end of times from a Christian point of view but even if you don't want to go that route I don't want I don't want credits I don't want tokens electronic tokens and electronic credits they're too easy to lose or hack or what have you I know they say that they're gonna be decentralized but as people that have lost money on Bitcoin because Bitcoin right now has uh, there's people that's lost like a lot of money Japan lost some money in Japan lost 400 something million dollars lost it because somebody hacked into it and got it alright Ethereum uses a different blockchain algorithm but the point is with drones flying around you know these little drones flying around all over the place anything they capture can be if it's related to you or in, to the, your neighbor to this neighbor it's they already know where you live they know everything about you and everything's going to start being collected and spread out over millions of computers so that it doesn't get lost and it can be accessed by them by anyone they say uh, you want to order organic tomatoes and you want to verify that they've been organically you know grown Monsanto can do this shit and say that they grew them through John's Tomato Company. Organic, uh, John's Organic Tomato Company. They can still lie from the initial end of it and manipulate this thing. The only thing you can't do is you can't manipulate it. And privacy is gone. There will be no privacy. This is something, this is serious. I mean, it's a serious problem. I, you know, I've heard that the Amazon Echoes and the Google Homes and all that were actually collecting data 
and listening the whole time to everyone's conversations and I heard that and everybody thinks that's just an urban legend this right here should prove that it probably is not this this and people are pushing for this shit the especially the tech companies they want it but who asked for anything you know the tel this telephone and facebook caused problems because since this t phone was invented in 2007, these smartphones came out in 2007, rare, thereabouts, and Facebook, about the same time, everybody has been distracted. They stay on that. It's now, the, and, and then that just opened the doorway for them to just start throwing shit on us. And making stuff that nobody needs. We don't need this. I don't need a chip in my hand. To walk up to my door. To unlock my door. Walk in and automatically turn my lights on. I'm not too damn lazy to unlock my own damn door. And turn on my light. Yet there are hundreds and, or thousands of people. That have put chips in their arms and hands. And they mess their they mess with their phone with it. They unlock their door. My God, big deal. But they don't know what else that thing's collecting either. They they may think that's all it's doing. How do they know that? They don't know that. I'm not putting one of those things in my hand. I don't. I'm not too lazy to unlock my own damn door. I can turn my car on just fine. I can turn on a light in my house just fine. I'm capable of doing that. I, I don't want a pet robot dog. I want a real dog. I don't want no robot butler. Don't want Bicentennial Man running around. I don't need that shit. Nobody needs it. And nobody really would want it. But now, if such and such has got it, it, it God, is it's like the Jones thing. The Joneses have it. We've got to have it too. You know, it, it, it's ridiculous. The shit that they're putting out, and it, it just keeps coming out and funneling out. This is better. This is better. This is better. All kind of stuff that we don't need. When it's not going to stop, when it's, it just won't, it's not going to stop. But blockchaining, this blockchaining thing, this is Skynet. This is the matrix. If anything, blockchain reinforces the matrix and controllers and simulation because it is tightening the noose on you. They're going to start putting together profiles on people. I mean, this that's not that hard to see that they would use it for that if if they can use it for that don't you think they will anything that can be used to suit their purpose they'll use it's ridiculous to not think that you have to know that these people will use this stuff against you A, they want to go back to a feudalistic society. Or Nor, uh, Orwell's 84. That's what it's. But 
still that's a feudalistic society whether it's royalty and peasants or big brother and peons you know it's still feudalism and it's coming this shit's coming they already know it's work it works so it's coming now as far as 5g that just goes right along with this doesn't it so research more on blockchain don't look at it from the way they want they're they're presenting it because they're presenting it like it's a good thing it's hell no it's not a good thing blockchaining anything that can be put it put in a any information that can be put in a database can be stored on millions of computers so this is this is it this is the end of privacy no more every device it that your refrigerator they may know what your eating habit they'll know your eating habits they're going to know everything and and it's it's coming this it just reinforces the matrix it 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 reinforces that that's that theory that that we live in a, a place a construct I've said I've, there's some new people so let me say this for them I personally do not believe that our consciousness is is here I believe our consciousness is outside of here somewhere I believe we're like this SD card this is the hardware and our consciousness is the software this weighs the same I'm, I had a set of digital scales in here but it weighs the same whether it's got software on it or not I believe that our spirit consciousness soul I believe our consciousness is elsewhere. Um, Kubrick's 2001, where the baby's in the bubble, looking down on Earth. Avatar. I, I've said before, and there's a lot of truth in movies. They tell you a lot of stuff. See, they may know this already. And even in the Bible, God said that when you pass away, your spirit goes back to God. So, I don't think that we are here except our consciousness is here in a construct and uh, we're just uh, it's not that we're not any we it's not that we, I don't I'm not talking about uh, evolution and that we are just meat sacks but I'm talking about we're, we're the hardware this body is but our mind and our consciousness it's it's not here we're here we're, we're, we're slammed here 
for a reason. But this blockchain, this is tightening everything up. Do some research on it. And when you watch the research on it, don't look at it the way that they're presenting it. Look at it at the way that it can be used against you. Because they're going to use it against you. Keep in mind, they can create a profile. AI, they, can, they can use AI. AI can go back and watch all of my videos and take and, and get every word I've said. And, you know, same thing with Facebook. And I've already said enough to hang myself, so I'm not going to stop. And my Facebook account has enough on it to hang myself, so I'm not going to stop that. I mean, I'm, I don't even use Facebook much anymore. But I'm not going to stop my videos because because of this I've already done the damage but it's important to realize that I don't think people even realize they just keep creating little things and shit that we don't need we don't need the Amazon Echo Alexa turn on the lights you can't get them to turn on the damn light Alright guys, that's my rant for the day, or at least for the morning. I might have one this evening on something else if something else pisses me off. Alright, take care guys. Have a good one. Please be good to everyone else. Take care.